start by the exercise with the exercise or create a new one and I'll start with exercise type open which is for mathematical expressions I'll give it a name and continue it brings me to the texts where I see title question solution pre input one and post input one which are all placeholders for the uh, for the exercise I can say title question solution something before the input field and something after it I can save it all and now if I preview the exercise you'll see that the title lands above the bar the question text is here in between then there's a, another bar there's something before and off the, imp the input field, and if I hit solution, it will show me the solution text. All these fields can be used to insert mathematical expressions. There are multiple ways of doing so. The most common one is by using LaTeX. If I type something like a fraction in LaTeX, I can use hashtags as delimiters for the mathematical markup and say frac A over B. And if I now save this, it will automatically uh, preview it as a fraction uh, in the preview. There's an alternative way of doing this. You can also oh, use um, the backslash parentheses as a delimiter for the math, ma math mode. And you can, if I save that, I get the same result. Or you can use a square bracket to get horizontal alignment. which is especially nice if you want to emphasize certain mathematical content. You can also use environments like arrays and tabulars or matrices. Um, and for those that do not know mathematical markup language LaTeX that well, you can use ASCII MathML, which has demarcations with the at symbol. So here I can do A slash B, and that will give me the same output as A over B. Um, although ASCII MathML is quite simple to use, it has its limitations, so therefore we support both. If you as an author don't know how to write LaTeX, you can go to the X squared, which will bring you to the formula editor. And right here you can use the graphical formula editor uh, that students also use and put in an equation, which will get translated for you and then here you'll have the LaTeX variant. As you can see, the hashtags frac A over B is the same as I used over here. You can copy and paste this directly into this field and that way you don't really have to know your LaTeX that well.